Well, they are illegal apartments rented and outfitted with bunk beds to house up to eight people. And to make matters worse, the doors are nailed shut, putting tenants' lives in danger. Seven on your side, investigative reporter Jim Hoffer is here with the undercover video. Jim. Yes, she turns illegal basement apartments into barracks with rows of bunk beds. She rents for $200 a week. Our undercover investigation exposes how Anna Carlson's illegal rental operation generates tens of thousands of dollars by putting people's lives at risk. You want to answer no. the fact that you were putting people's lives in danger or not? I don't. Put you don't any, want to talk about that? I don't put anybody's life in danger. Anna Carlson is making tens of thousands of dollars illegally subletting dangerous basement apartments to young working men. You make a lot of cash and then you go on and you just become a mini mogul. Here's Anna caught on this undercover video by one of her tenants. She's explaining to him how her illegal business works. I look apartment because if I want to do this, I want to make sure we can't get evicted. Anna knows that a landlord renting her an illegal apartment will be fearful about calling police when she turns his basement into a money-making dormitory. Knowing that you have the law on your side, it's just worth it. After signing a lease, Anna the renter sets up bunk beds to sublet for $200 a week per bed. She recruits renters on Craigslist to fill her makeshift dorm. Our investigation found Anna subletting beds at a basement apartment in Flushing and another one in Kew Gardens, where she had up to eight men living in a room. This is like pure compact living. And it is purely illegal and dangerous. A former tenant concerned about the danger provided us with undercover video of the Kew Gardens apartment. It shows eight bunk beds crammed into one basement room a tangle of extension cords by most of the beds, a potential fire hazard. The tenant finally decided to contact Seven on your side after discovering this. When I slept there, and then I moved the little curtain that I saw was nailed in there, I was like, well, this is a fire hazard. Okay. They can't come in there now. No, because I screwed it shut with like a hundred uh, wooden screws. Anna had used a two by four to nail shut a door to keep out the landlord or police, but in doing so, blocking one of two exits. What can you tell us about that? You're I really making. I don't have time. We confronted Anna outside her other basement dormitory operation in Flushing, Queens. You do understand why this can be a fire trap, putting all these people in so a basement why apartment. Why don't we just leave today? I have no problem leaving today. So you're saying you're going to leave and shut this down? Well, if the city comes, then I will go immediately. She's clearly running a business here. Yes, a, a very lucrative business. How much, did she ever tell you how much she makes? She claims she makes over 15000 per location a month. But Anna insists she's doing nothing wrong. You're taking advantage oh, really? of their desperation. You're exploiting them Well, so I, you can make thousands of dollars. I don't have eight people living in a dorm. Yes, you do. We no, have I video don't. of it. Well, we've since learned that the owner of the Kew Gardens basement apartment has paid Anna $5,000 to leave, and she has. Meantime, the Department of Buildings is now investigating the illegal apartment in Flushing. Remember, if you have an issue that you need us to look into, please give our tip line a call at 877-TIP-NEWS. The number again, 877-TIP-NEWS.